What's up guys? How are my beautiful people doing? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Dan. Today I'm gonna review this wonderful, amazing exfoliant from Geek and Gorgeous. It is called, uh, called, called, Calm Down. You need to calm down. So, uh, but before I start the review, please consider following me on Instagram. On Facebook, subscribe to this channel for more videos related to skincare, nutrition, supplements. Uh, and um, yeah, uh, also I do plan to create a Patreon account, so uh, you may find it down below if you are interested. Down below if you are interested. Below. Okay, so I'm gonna start as always with the packaging. Um, looks pretty fancy. I I always like their packaging. Uh, it is um, pretty convenient. However, I don't like that after opening, you also have this uh, thing. Uh, and you have to, it's not so easy to open, if you know what I mean. So yeah, then now you can use the product. I wish they excluded this, this thing, I mean, this thing. But I guess um, they wanna make sure the product doesn't uh, linger, leak. I don't know the, the English word for that. I guess you, you guys know what I mean. So uh, it is a pretty good packaging though. Uh, when it comes to price, how much is this one? It is uh, 28 euros, which I think makes it makes like 32, 33 uh, dollars. It is not the most uh, inexpensive exfoliant, I would say, but uh, it is such a good product though. It's totally worth it. Exfoliants actually, uh, generally speaking, tend to be a little more expensive though. So, um, and you get, how much do you get? I think you get uh, three fluid. You get 3.38 fluid ounces, which is 100 mils. Uh, you get a pretty good amount. Now, um, when it comes to, well, let me actually show you the texture. It is very hydrating. It's so, so hydrating. I guess because because of the PHAs in, included in this one. Uh, it is light. I mean, it has kind of the same texture as water, but um, once you apply it on your skin, it is so, so hydrating. Uh, it leaves your skin pretty, pretty soft, uh, but it's so hydrating that it almost has this tacky finish a little bit. Um, kind of the same feeling you get with most uh, hyaluronic acid products. Now, when it comes to irritant ingredients, we don't have any of those in here. Geek & Gorgeous never includes any fragrance or alcohol in their products, uh, which is amazing. Uh, this does have a smell. It has not a pleasant smell though, I just wanna... It has a very chemi chemically smell. Uh, I don't mind the smell, but I do think some people are not gonna like it. And I, I, I'm i pretty sure the smell comes from uh, this... What's the name of it? Nopal cactus, cactus extract or something like that, because... Yeah, I think that's where the, the smell comes from. Now, you might not like it, but uh, I do still think it is better than a fragrance product which might give you a lot of irritation, so, um, yeah. Now, the pH of this one, pH is very important when it comes to exfoliants. Uh, if the pH is too high, the exfoliant is not gonna be effective. We have a pH between 3.5 and 3.9, which is the perfect pH for a product, for, a, for an exfoliant to work. And I love Geek & Gorgeous for disclosing the pH of their products. Okay, uh, and now we have my experience with the product and the ingredient list. My experience with this product has been honestly amazing. Uh, so first of all, we have 3.2% uh, PHAs in this one. PHA, it is the new generation AHA. It's gonna offer the same benefits of the AHAs with no irritation at all. It is great for, even for people who are dealing with rosacea, with very, very sensitive skin. Um, besides exfoliating gently, Besides gently exfoliating your skin, it is gonna offer you uh, a good amount of hydration and it's also gonna help with skin barrier repair. Yeah, PHAs are really, really uh, that amazing. I, I really like this ingredient. And we do also have, so PHA is gonna offer you surface exfoliation and we have 0.8% BHA, which is gonna give you deeper exfoliation. BHA is, um, is a soluble, oil soluble ingredient, unlike PHA, which is a water soluble. So BHA is gonna enter your pores, unclog those pores, go deeper into your skin, offer you deep exfoliation. So you have surface exfoliation and deeper exfoliation in one product. 
which is that's why I, lo I, lo I like this one so much. And because this is a product designed for people with uh, sensitive skin, have only 0.8% BHA, but it, it's still gonna be effective at um, unclogging your pores and offer you deeper exfoliation. So yeah, great, great product. And like I said in other videos, I started using Differin um, seven months ago already. That product is so harsh to your skin. Um, it is a third generation retinoic acid. It's gonna give you great, great results, but uh, so, so sensitizing. So yeah, a different fucked up my skin, but uh, that was a rhyme, I think. <laughs> but uh, I was able to use this one because it's so, so gentle and still effective at the same time. It is indeed a, an amazing product. Uh, so yeah, now I'm gonna dive into the ingredient list. We have water as the first ingredient, uh, nothing, abnormal there. Then we have a Glycerif 26, which is a nice uh, glycerin-based humectant and emollient. It is going to give your skin a smooth, soft feeling. Uh, then we have Lactobionic Acid, which is uh, one of the PHA's exfoliants in this one. Uh, like I said, it is an amazing ingredient because it's going to exfoliate, it's going to offer you mild exfoliation on the surface of your skin without any irritation. Uh, Long-term use, it has been shown to give some anti-aging benefits. And, uh, besides exfoliation, like I said, uh, it is a good humectant. It's gonna hydrate, moisturize the skin a little bit. Then we have gluconolactone, which has pretty much the same benefits as the lactobi lactobionic acid, okay? Pretty much the same benefits. Uh, then we have propanidial, which is a good humectant, a good solvent. It is used as preservatives in some, in some products. Uh, then we have uh, the salicylic acid, which is the BHA exfoliant in this one. Uh, it is oil soluble, it's gonna go deeper into your skin, exfoliate your skin, has anti-inflammatory properties. And by the way, I forgot to mention, uh, the PHAs and then the BHA in this one, they are not gonna um, sensitize your skin, uh, how, should I, how should I put this one? Your skin is not gonna get sensitive to the sun. You should still wear your sunscreen every day, no matter what, but um, if you don't wear sunscreen at all, you can still use this one, because it, it has been proven to actually not make your skin more sensitive to the sun. Uh, then we have Panthenol, which is uh, one of my favorite humectants, skin soothing ingredients have glycerin, my favorite humectant, better than hyaluronic acid, I say this all the time. <laughs> uh, besides hydrating your skin, it off also offers a bit of moisturization. It is also gonna help with skin barrier repair. We have that uh, cactus extract, which is supposed to be soothing to the skin. It is also a humectant, so it's gonna hydrate your skin a little bit. Uh, also, it has been shown in some studies to have a little bit of anti-UV benefits, uh, anti-UV light benefits. I would recommend you to still wear your, your sunscreen every day, so um, yeah. Uh, we have some Saccharomyces extract, uh, which it is gonna be a humectant. It's gonna help with the skin microbiome. And after that, we just have some preservatives, some buffering ingredients, some uh, pH regulating ingredients. Nothing, nothing special, phenoxyethanol, which is one of the best preservatives on the market. So yeah, very, very simple ingredient list. No irritants there. Um, we don't have a lot of ingredients, uh, in, in which case it might not be the greatest product for people with sens sensitive skin, because you may have allergies to one of the ingredients or something like that. Very, very simple. I really recommend this one uh, if you want an exfoliant that's gonna be gentle to your skin, but effective at the same time. Uh, 10 out of 10, well, maybe 9 out of 5 out of 10 because of this thing. It is 10 out of 10 though. Great product. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I hope you find it helpful. If you did so, give this video a thumbs up and uh, let me know in the comments below if you've ever tried this one. What's your favorite exfoliant? Um, and uh, just leave a comment there so you help this video get exposure to as many people as possible. I love you all guys and I will see you all in my next video.